What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're gonna be doing a realistic offseason rebuild of the Los Angeles Chargers after of course they lost to the Las Vegas Raiders last night in one of the craziest regular season games I have ever seen. So obviously now that the regular season is over we have a lot of realistic rebuilds to do but I thought it was only right to start with the Chargers after Justin Herbert man did everything he could converted so many fourth downs and they still unfortunately lost to the Raiders. And uh, you know, there's a lot of controversy going about how Brandon Seeley called a timeout. The Raiders about to drain the clock, uh, which could be true, but I don't know, man. Uh, it, it is what it is. But let's go ahead and start with this offseason, of course, with the re-signing stage. So taking a look at guys we need to re-sign. Mike Williams, I think, will be a big one. I think the Chargers would love to get back. So definitely would like to have Mike Williams back. We have Jared Cook out here who had a good game last night as well. Kaiser White, uh, Nwosu. I didn't know how to see this guy's name for the longest time. And then he had a great game last night. And the, you know, commentators, Phil, uh, not Al Michaels. And uh, I forgot the other guy's name for some reason at the top of my head. But, you know, they were saying his name constantly. So now I finally know what it is. So I do want to go ahead and re-sign Nwosu. There's a lot of guys here that I definitely have some interest in re-signing. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with the top. Of course, Mike Williams is going to be the first one off the board that we need to bring back 100%. So... Mike Williams, uh, we have like $80 million in cap space as well. So we have some money to our names, which is good. So we do want Mike Williams back, was killing it towards the beginning of the year. Uh, but then, of course, he kind of came back to earth for a little bit. So Mike Williams is going to accept our initial offer. You have Chris Harris Jr., who is a corner, which, you know, you could re-sign him. But at the same time, I think I'm not going to worry about it too much. Jared Cook is 35, and you could go ahead and give him an extension. But I'm going to wait. I might come back to that. Kaiser White is 26 years old, middle linebacker. Uh, Justin Jackson, Nwosu. So there's uh, like four guys here that I do want to resign right here. So um, let's go ahead and start with Nwosu because that's going to be one of the important ones. Had a great game last night. So I definitely would love to bring Nwosu back. Um, all right. So he comes back. So that's going to be another uh, guy off the board. Jalen Guyton, I think, is another guy that the Chargers would love to have and keep part of their wide receiver core. So let's go ahead and offer him one. And he is back. And then Dustin Hopkins. Now, he was a Washington football team kicker. And I'm not going to lie. He was pretty bad. Like he sucked for us. Uh, he just miss kick, makes kiss, mix, miss kicks constantly. And uh, you know he's actually been pretty good with the Chargers. So I'm happy with that. And the Chargers have always had kicking problems. So I would assume they would want to resign Dustin Hopkins. All right. So now we have Kazir White and Justin Jackson. So Justin Jackson is just depth at the running back position. You have Austin Eckler there, obviously, but Kazir White. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and offer him a contract as well. So we get him, and then Justin Jackson. If he wants to come back, I wouldn't mind bringing him back as well. And boom. So we get basically all the guys I wanted to resign. Now we have uh, Jared Cook, Linval Joseph, and then Chris Harris Jr. So if we decide to uh, bring Jared Cook, I think Jared Cook's really the only one I have any interest in. Uh, so we won't worry about Jared Cook. We're going to just go straight to free agency. So uh, we've had a lot of teams fire their head coaches, GMs today as well. Uh, Matt Nagy is out in uh, Chicago. We have Brian Flores getting fired in Miami. So there's a lot of interesting things going on. Around the league right now, but we go into free agency. Let's just go ahead and see who the best players are available. So Devontae Adams, Teron Armstead, Kelsey Gronk, Marcus Williams, Casey Hayward, Odell, Michael Gallup, Jack or Jake, Jack Fox, Devondre Campbell, Christian Kirk, Deckard. So there's actually some pretty good players available. One thing I do want to look at real quick is what I need uh to complete this team around Justin Herbert. So this team uh needs, you know, obviously nine and eight in real life. Uh they finished the season nine and eight. So this is what our offensive line looks like right now with the young Rashawn Slater. Uh, we got a 78 overall left guard. So honestly, the weapons on offense, I think, are pretty solid uh, other than obviously tight end. So really, maybe upgrading the right guard spot wouldn't hurt Ryan Bulaga and uh, Matt. F I don't even know how to say this guy's name. Matt Feeler probably are fine at the tackle and the guard spot. Uh, we have plenty of running backs. So we're not going to worry about that. Wide receivers are fine. Now, defensively, if you take a look, we currently do not have a defensive tackle. Uh, we have Kenneth Murray on the edge, which I actually believe Kenneth Murray is a linebacker, right? Or is he an edge rusher? Yeah, he's a... So we basically... Uh, and then we have... Okay, so we have no defensive line, it looks like. And we also need another corner because Mike Davis... Uh, or we could just play Michael Davis. I don't know. We'll see. We need another corner. Our safety spot are fine. Obviously, Joey, Bo Joey Bosa is great. I honestly might move Joey Bosa to the edge rusher just because I feel like he'd probably be better there anyway. Um, and then our middle linebacker is... Uh, Drew Tranquil. So not too bad. All right. So what I want to do is I'm probably going to move Joey Bosa down to left end just because I feel like he'd play better there. I, I th honestly thought he played edge rusher anyway. So I'm just going to move him there. 
and then we're going to go into free agency and try to sign some guys to improve this team. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a DFS player props website that allows you to go over or under on players' projections. You're facing no one in the world but yourself and the numbers. Let me go ahead and show you a few examples of how it works. So on this example, I went for a flex play on Debo Samuel, Cordell Patterson, LaVisca Cheneau, and David Johnson, who were all able to hit or go under the numbers, which led to me getting $170. That's just one example. And here's another example where I didn't actually get everyone correct, but I still didn't walk away with nothing. Aaron Jones was able to hit over his fantasy score. Chase Edmonds got over 10 fantasy points, and Mercedes Lewis got under 18 and a half receiving yards. But unfortunately for me, DeAndre Hopkins did not get a touchdown in this game. If you do decide to sign up, my link is down in the description below. Use code CRUSHABLES. They are offering 100% deposit match up to $100. We are going to be trying to sign Austin Corbett to just get more protection for Justin Herbert. I just think that makes a ton of sense here. So uh, he might be pretty cheap for us as well. He's from the Los Angeles Rams. So just, you know, he's only moving across the street. So if we get Austin Corbett here... Uh, he would be, we would be his number one offer. So that would be a great start development right guard to bring in, which is going to be awesome for us, obviously. So I like that first one. Tight end positions. The other one I want to focus on the offense. We have Zach Ertz. We have Tanya. We have Jared Cook. We have Hayden Hurst. Uh, Will Disley. So, I mean, any of these guys would be fine. Uh, Zach Ertz, Gronk. I mean, who do we want to go for? We could bring in Zach Ertz. I feel like that would be a very, very interesting weapon to have uh, next to Justin Herbert. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring in Zach Ertz. Why the hell not? So Zach Ertz could be our tight end number one. Obviously, one of the best tight ends in the league, usually, or used to be anyway. I don't know about currently, but used to be. Okay, so now the defensive side of the ball. Uh, we need corners. Casey Hayward, former uh, Los Angeles Charger. You know, there could be a reunion there if you wanted it to be, but I don't know. Uh, and he might be the best corner available if we just wanted to go in. And we got Mike Hughes, 25 years old. Um, so we definitely need a corner. We also need a defensive tackle. So... Uh, and then I think that's about it. We have Lenval Joseph, who we obviously let go. Ron Reed, uh, who is a Seattle Seahawk, I believe. So, uh, and then Doug. Okay, so you got some guys we can go for. So, Ron Reed is already 28 years old. So maybe we don't go that route. Uh, we have Doug from I don't even run, I don't even know what team he's from, but we could go ahead and offer him a contract. It's gonna be super cheap, it looks like. So we're gonna offer Doug a uh, deal to be our defensive tackle. Uh, we're going to blow everyone's offer out of the damn water. So let me just bring it down maybe a little bit. And that will give us 103 total point offers. So that could be a star development defensive tackle coming in. And I think we might have to uh, give Casey Hayward or Mike Hughes a contract. We have AJ Boy as well, Cole, Kyle Fuller. So any of these guys would be great. Brian Poole. Just anyone to obviously bring in as a corner because we need one. So um, who I want to go for? Casey Hayward. So he doesn't really sound like a long-term option, but he would definitely be an interesting option to have here. Like I said, played for the Chargers before. Mike Hughes is also interesting. Uh, so I definitely like him. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to bring in Mike Hughes, who is just a little bit younger, 25 years old. It's going to fit Justin Herbert's timeline just a little bit more than Casey Hayward would. Okay, so with all of that, I think we've offered all of our contracts in day one of free agency. Let's go ahead and see if we get all of them, and uh, we'll go from there. So... Day one of free agency is complete, and we can look at this team after. So we did not get the offensive lineman. That's the one guy we did not get, so that's really unfortunate. Definitely would have loved to have Austin Corbett, but we did get a tight end in Zach Ertz. That's great. We did get Mike Hughes as a corner, and we also got the defense. Oh, no, we did not get the defensive tackle. He also rejected our contract, so maybe I shouldn't have lowered my offer. So, all right, now we take a look at the lineup one last time before we go any further. So we have now a tight end in Zach Ertz. We did not get the right guard that I wanted. Uh, unfortunate but then defensively uh linebacker core is fine we got the corner we needed so basically the one gaping hole on this team is the defensive tackle uh you know a linebacker middle linebacker wouldn't be you know wouldn't hurt too much but we definitely definitely need a defensive tackle so that's going to be the guy we need to go ahead and try to grab in the draft so uh and then a right guard basically so that's basically the two gaping holes we really have are going to be defensive tackle and a guard so we're going to have to address that probably in the draft. So uh, we're going to have $26 million in cash space left over. Is there anybody else that's worth just using this money on? Uh, we can go for another corner if we wanted to, maybe another weapon. But I think I'm content with just going into the draft with what we have, to be honest. I mean, I really like our situation here. I think we have enough. Um, do we not have a, we don't have a punter. So I guess I can go for Corey uh, Bo, however he says his last name. So I'm going to go ahead and offer the punter a contract. We are going to be his number one offer by a lot of, uh, you know, by a lot. So Kyle Fuller, Jacoby Myers. Yeah, I think I'm content. I think I'm going to go to the draft now. 
Oh, we have Henry Ruggs out here. So the draft is probably where we're going to be trying to improve the team a little bit even further. Uh, so the Chargers, I believe, have the 17th pick in the draft. Uh, so someone in the next week, I'm not really sure what pick we're going to have on this game because obviously they went a little bit better of a record. So we did get the punter, which is great. All right. So let me go ahead and take a look at what draft pick we have for this upcoming draft. Uh, again, Madden does not allow me to download an updated draft class, which is just really unfortunate. So it says we have pick number 28, but obviously in real life, the Chargers have pick number 17. I don't know how I try to get that pick. I mean, I probably gonna have to like, since we only do one off season, I got to try to get pick number 17 because that's the pick the Chargers have. Uh, that'll make me feel a little bit better about everything. I wish there was like a trade override in Madden. That way you could like, you know, get the draft order correct for at least the team I'm doing. But unfortunately you can't. But other than that, free agency is over for us. We're just going to go straight to the NFL draft where we're going to try to grab maybe Aiden Hutchinson or maybe something along the lines of that to improve this roster. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the NFL draft. We're going to be going straight to our 17th pick and getting whoever we can. So we needed a guard and a defensive tackle more than anything. Uh, so we got Sivan Banks going right before us. All right, so let's go ahead and see who's still available on the board. Um, so we have key, we have a quarterback, we have Charles Cross, we have Kenyon Green, Rashid Walker. Okay, there's definitely uh, some good players available. Obviously, we're still in the first round. So yeah, that's going to be the, the case. The defensive tackle, we have uh, Winfrey, we have Jordan Davis, uh, which I guess in a mock draft, I just saw that the Chargers should be taking Jordan Davis. So you know what? Why the hell not? He is available here. Let's go ahead and see what his ratings are. Just because, obviously, B block shedding. Let's see what else we got. C awareness. F stamina. So that's, the, you know, that doesn't look that all, all that good. But uh, what about Winfrey here? Is he better? Is the question. Um, B awareness. B C hit power. B play recognition. So he looks pretty good as well. So one of these defensive tackles is who I want to take. Uh, which one do we want is the question. Round one, two to projection. The guy from Georgia. Or the guy from Oklahoma. All right, this is a tough decision, but I believe I am going to go ahead and take Jordan Davis here with this draft pick. He is going to be a hidden development, so that is a great draft pick for us. So just like that, we got ourselves a defensive tackle, which is good. So we need a defensive tackle uh, in the defensive line, which is good. So now we need a guard on the offense, which is going to be important here. So offensive lineman is something we definitely also need. Matt Coral goes to the Dallas Cowboys. Um, yeah, I wish this draft class was updated, but I wish I could download a new draft class, but unfortunately Madden is broken right now and you can. So I'm stuck with this one I downloaded like a long time ago. So uh, bear with me here, but we need a guard. So I do see some available options here. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the guards positions just in case. Uh, left tackle, we have Broker here. We have Sean Wante. Okay, so we don't need a tackle obviously, but we could always take an offensive lineman we need to. Jared Peterson right guard and then the right tackle uh so we need a right guard more than anything uh so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the guys we've scouted here b awareness b impact block c pass block c run block so he doesn't look terrible a lead block actually this guy doesn't look all that bad he is around three to four projection though um day three so maybe we can get him on day three might come back to him then so hopefully he's still available uh maybe we go just a wide receiver here just like anything we could honestly go anything here Ventro Miller, Drink London, David Bell, Nick Broker, um, and then another corner. If we wanted to draft a younger corner, we could. Trent McDuffie, C zone coverage. What else we got? B stamina, C zone, Z hit power, B uh, F injury. Okay. Mm, all right. I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a wide receiver here, Drake London. Uh, why not? Just bring another weapon in here for Justin Herbert, maybe to eventually develop. Actually, his his ratings kind of suck too. Okay, we need to make a decision. We need to make a decision, David Bell. Round two to three, round one to two. Okay, uh, I'm going to just take Drake London. Hopefully, it, it's fine. Normal development, whatever. Okay, uh, I'm going to go to round three and try to draft that offensive lineman I was looking at. So, hopefully, he is still available when we get to round three. So, going to round three, let's see if he is available. Hopefully, he still is. I believe he was a right guard that I was looking at, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. That was the case. Uh, I think he might have gotten taken, which is really unfortunate. Maybe I should have just reached for him and grabbed him. That sucks, but we do have a, another guy we've scouted here with A impact block, B C run block, and then, okay, this guy actually doesn't look too bad. Hopefully, he's a hidden development, and he's a normal development. Very unfortunate, uh, but we needed a right guard, so we drafted one. Uh, maybe we should have taken the guy earlier, but that's fine. So, now we're going to come out of the draft with uh, maybe another draft pick here, or another. we have another fourth rounder. Let's see what else we can grab in this draft. So, number four, uh, we're going to be drafting... Probably best, best available. I mean, we need some linebacker depth. We have a round of three. We did scout this guy quite a bit. 
B tackle, B zone coverage, C pursuit. Merlin Robertson in the fourth round. B stamina, C pursuit, F man coverage. Okay. That's actually not too bad. He's going to be an order development linebacker, which is fine. I'm glad that we got a hidden development defensive tackle, though. We really needed that. So I think I'm going to end it on that because the rest of the rounds are just, you know, obviously fifth, sixth, and seventh. You don't really know what you're getting there. So, all right, we're coming out of the draft with a defensive tackle that I really like and then a guard, which may not be all that great, but hopefully he can develop into something for us. Uh, so we take a look at our recap and kind of see how we did. So Jordan Davis is going to be a 70 overall, so nothing crazy. We also got a wide receiver 66 and the right guard was actually a 74 overall so that's actually really solid we're happy with that and then uh we also got a linebacker so you know overall not the greatest draft but i'm definitely content with what we were able to accomplish I i'm very happy with that so uh let's get into next week so we can look at our lineup and see what this team's going to look like going into season number two uh so season number or i guess it's season number one because season number two obviously so this is the off season we just had i think it was a good one i really do i really like what we were able to accomplish justin herbert hopefully should be able to just get us into the postseason again uh they did make it in the game but obviously in real life they didn't so we have a young right guard on the offensive line the weapons on offense are definitely there we also have another drafted wide receiver so Definitely a lot of good weapons for Justin Herbert to throw to, especially with Zach Ertz coming in as well. And defensively, you got Jordan Davis on the defensive line. Hopefully he's able to develop into something. And then this is what you got as far as your um, defense. So two decent middle linebackers, a young defensive tackle. Hopefully this is able to turn into something. We're going to go ahead and send it to the end of this season. Hopefully the Los Angeles Chargers are able to make the postseason. But Justin Herbert at the helm, I believe we should be able to accomplish anything because the man is an absolute stud. But you never really know. Let's go ahead and see if we can make it to the playoffs this season. So at the end of the season, this team was able to get in the playoffs 10 and 7 against the New England Patriots, which is awesome. So we're going to be going into a blizzard game, it looks like. So now we can go ahead and upgrade everybody, take a look at the stats and kind of see what this team was able to accomplish this year. So uh, let's take a look at the stats real quick. 10 and 7 on the season. Uh, basically what the Chargers could have finished last night. Offense 6, uh, we were 12th in the NFL in defensive yards. We were 5th. So actually our defense was actually really good. Uh, Justin Herbert, 31 touchdowns and 17 interceptions. Rushing-wise, Austin Eckler had a really good year with 1,300 yards, 17 touchdowns. Receiving, Keenan Allen, of course, was a stud. Mike Williams. And then Zach Ertz was also another guy that was really good for us. Very productive season. So awesome stuff there. And then taking a look at the defense that actually had a really good year. Joey Bosa moved him to the edge, and he got 24 sacks. And the Wosu got seven. We had three from Kenneth Murray, three from Tillery uh half a sack half a sack half a sack from our rookie as well let's go ahead and see what his player cards look like he's a star development 75 overall so it looks like that was a great draft pick for us all right so let's go ahead and then i think that's going to be it all right let's go ahead and see how we're going to be able to perform against new england patriots so i think we're going to their home we are going to fox bro which is going to be a little tough on us but since we are only doing obviously since we only did one off season i do like to get some gameplay in this uh series so you guys are going to be seeing a lot of gameplay in this series so let's go ahead and see if we can compete against the patriots patriots start off with the ball i don't believe they scored we're going to go ahead and skip this moment uh we're going to just wait until the right moment is to jump in so we did score a touchdown it is a seven to three ball game now and we got 14 to three on them so we're doing really good so far uh we got you know the two minute drill uh at the 34 yard line i believe we might be at their 34 as well so this actually is going to be a really good spot to be in it looks like new england turned the ball over i think it's going to be in our best interest to just kind of run this ball maybe drain some clock a little bit nice gaping hole opened up for me with austin eckler down the middle let's go no huddle offense here that seemed to work i'm going to go back to inside zone hopefully it's there again it is going to be there i might be able to get the edge and get nope it's not we're going to stay in bounds though which is good definitely want to you know take some time off the clock so that was uh some good runs i like that so now we're gonna go to run, we're gonna go to the pass i'm gonna try to find eckler or Ertz here maybe Ertz in the corner or eckler on the out route eckler's gonna be open he's gonna go ahead and get me a touchdown i think oh man just short he was literally on the pylon okay i thought for sure that was a touchdown but all right we're gonna just go halfback dive usually works here so uh this might not work against goal line defense but let's see if it can get in there it did and just like that we're gonna go ahead and score a touchdown make this 21 to 3. let's get back to what we want to do so continue the next moment new england is going to get a field goal before the half is over and we are going to have the ball let's see if we're going to go ahead and make it 28 to 6 we do and the patriots are going to make it 28 to 9 so all they're doing is scoring field goals right now 31 to 9 31 to 17. as long as we don't choke we should be fine 
and it is going to be a 31 to 24 ball game i'm not liking that new england is not going to score we have the ball now and that is going to be it so just like that we are going to the divisional round we were able to beat the new england patriots in the first round so justin herbert is moving on in the playoffs we love to see it let's get to the next round and see who we're going to face now we get the 12 and 5 jacksonville jaguars which is uh well that's something i mean the jaguars obviously have the first pick in the draft once again back-to-back -back years of having the number one pick so now we get to play the Jacksonville Jaguars. Well, this should be interesting. Let's see if we can give them a ball game. It is going to be in Florida, obviously. So I'm not going to start uh, three to zero. Start the ball game. We did just score a touchdown really quickly. That was a that was a quick touchdown. But seven to ten, they are up. Seven to seventeen. It looks like we might need to get something going on offense. If we don't score here, it's definitely going to be very bad for us. So uh, let's see if we can get a touchdown here on this drive. We have turned the ball over, so it looks like we either fumbled or obviously inter you know, got intercepted. Who knows? Not going to be able to know. Uh, I'm just going to take RB here. That's going to be a nice catch and run to Zach Ertz. Boom, just like that. That's going to be a real nice gain for us. I'm going to go to Austin Eckler here on the run, and we're going to go to the edge here. Hopefully, we're able to get it. It's going to be like a three-yard gain, nothing crazy. All right, so let's go back to... Mm, what do we want to do here? I'm going to go... Uh, let's try to get verticals drag going let's see if uh keenan allen can get open maybe we can even throw mike williams a you know a 50 50 ball who knows okay so we might get keenan i think keenan allen is going to be open here that is going to be a open let's go just like that how do you keenan i should have possession caught it man i thought catching i don't know how keenan allen drops that how does keenan allen drop that man that man does not drop many balls does not drop balls like that that is unrealistic matt and that might be interception all right, that sucks, man. I We got a punt. We got a punt. It, it's too early to be going for an fourth and eight. I cannot believe Keenan Allen dropped that. I cannot believe he dropped that, man. That is crazy to me. Keenan Allen should not have dropped that ball. We might be able to pin it. Let's go. Yes, we pinned it on the two. That's a W. Nice punt. All right, man. Let's see if we can get a stop. Uh, continue the next moment. Jacksonville is going to go from the two-yard line and score a touchdown, man. That is very, very bad. All right, so it looks like Jacksonville drafted the best quarterback available or something because uh, 10 to 31, it's not looking good for us anymore. All right, and it is going to be, is can we? No, we, we can't. So we need something going here, man. It is 10 to 34. We got to divisional, but it doesn't look like we're going to get any further past this. Keenan Allen really let me down, man. Keenan Allen might, you know what? I'm going to throw it to him again, though. Hopefully he catches this time. Catch and run. But he drops it again. Keenan, I need you to come through, bro. Keenan Allen is selling me right now, bro. I mean, these are some good footballs I'm throwing. All right. I hate this confusion, obviously, because I'm trying to look at my damn play. I'm just going to go to Eckler here. Hopefully. No, I, not, not. It's not great of a gain at all. Justin Herbert, 150 yards, one interception. Not a great game out of him at all. Okay. Well, let's try to get Keenan Allen on the out route, baby. Maybe Austin Eckler in the middle. I mean, this is four down territory, so uh i yeah I, was just, I don't i didn't really see anything open to be honest we're gonna get sacked by josh allen but hey justin herbert was in this position many times yesterday we can do it again i can become my inner justin herbert and convert many fourth downs here it just sucks we're not playing the raiders defense this time okay hopefully we're able to maybe get this to keenan allen on the crosser i'm gonna go ahead and throw it to keenan allen you're gonna possession catch this this time i'm not risking it you're just gonna catch that that's going to be a first down. So just like that, my inner Justin Herbert came out. We converted another fourth down. Herbert, man, was legit last night. Just converted fourth down after fourth down. I'd never, some, I've never seen anything like it. It was crazy. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and take the check. Nope, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. I might actually fumble on accident. I was going to take the check down, but then the angle just became bad. Okay. Let's go to mesh spot. We need, we need a touchdown, man. We need... A touchdown for our dignity here at least the confusion play is off or the confusion x factor or whatever uh b is going to be open it's going to take it with uh keenan allen so keenan allen boom just like that we got ourselves a first down all right we're going to do a play action y cross let's see if keenan allen could get open in the middle maybe i'm going to try to maybe get it to him a is going to actually no he got stopped oh my gosh man he got stopped on his route he was going to become open there the defender got in his way and that is going to be how this ends, isn't it? That is very, very unfortunate. Ah, the defender stopped him in his route. He, like, should have been P.I. low-key. I mean, Zach Ertz was got, about to be open right there. Trevor Lawrence. I don't know why I said the Jaguars probably drafted a good quarterback. Uh, I don't know. They probably drafted Thibodeau with their number one pick. Who knows? 
that's unfortunate herbert very underwhelming game but unfortunately we you know we did win a playoff game which is good but we did not get any further than that i feel like we did a decent job rebuilding the chargers today joey bosa had a really good year for us moving him to the edge and then herbert obviously is always going to be legit for them and jordan davis was a really good draft pick so excited to see what he would become in the future for the chargers if they were to take him uh but unfortunately Season's going to come to an, to an end at the hand of the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is what our offensive line looked like, our, our offense looked like in general, and this is what the defense looked like. So most, you know, I was pretty happy with what we were able to accomplish, but uh, unfortunately came to an end to the Jaguars. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave it a like if you did. Also comment down below who should be next. We're only doing teams that are not in the playoffs right now. So I'm not going to do a team that's in the playoffs right now until their season comes to an end. So keep that in mind. But for now, this is Crushables 2. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.